Close your eyes and imagine how numbers help you to count, to represent your age, or even to tell your house number. All these numbers are used to represent quantities. While the relation of each number can be visualized in the number line, the magnitude gets larger as we move from left to right. How the numbers represented in the number line would classify them into different types. Let's discuss natural numbers. In a basketball game, the referee will give your shooting score starting from number 1, 1 point, 2 point, 3 point, etc. Why don't they start from 0? When you've scored 3 goals but you count from 0, then your point count is only 2. It's not correct, right? So in mathematics, for the purpose of basic counting, we are using natural numbers. Natural numbers are a part of the number system that includes all the numbers from 1 up to infinity. Therefore, a set of natural numbers contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to infinity. Whole numbers. What about thermometers? Why do they start counting from 0? For some purposes, we also count objects including 0, such as measuring the speed in a speedometer or even to provide information in a nutrition label. In set numbers, these natural numbers, including zero, are called whole numbers. Therefore, a set of whole numbers will look like these notations. You have to remember that the difference between whole numbers and natural numbers is that whole numbers have zero included, whereas the natural numbers start from one, excluding zero. Integers. In line numbers, we not only can count forward, but also backward. Until you can find negative infinity behind zero, all these positive zero and negative numbers with no fractional part are called integers. Sets of integers will be represented as notations below. In real life, the positive and negative integers work in many situations, mm -hmm. such as describing your bank balance. Rational numbers. When you share one of 10 slices of your cake, you can express it in rational numbers, or 1 by 10 form. Any number that can be represented as a simple fraction is a rational number. The symbol used for denoting rational numbers is Q. Let's dive in to elaborate the concept with some examples. Consider the number 4. Is 4 a rational number? Yes, it is, because it can be represented as a simple fraction in the following ways. 4 as a fraction. 4 cookies per person. 20 cookies per 5 people. 32 cookies per 8 people. These are a few simple fractions by which we can represent the number 4. Now consider 2.5. Is 2.5 a rational number? Yes, it is, because it can be represented as... 25 cookies per 10 people, 5 cookies per 2 people, 20 cookies per 8 people. Therefore, any number that can be represented as a simple fraction is termed as a rational number. Now here is a special case. Is 0 a rational number? Let's see if 0 can be represented as a fraction. Mm -hmm. 0 can be represented as 0 over 2, 0 over 3, 0 over 4, 0 over 5. All these fractions have the final answer as zero. Therefore, zero is a rational number. So rational numbers contain positive integers, negative integers, zero, common fractions. Irrational numbers. Numbers that cannot be represented as simple fractions are called irrational numbers. An example of an irrational number is pi. Pi equals 3.14159265355. It keeps going. A simple fraction cannot be written that equals pi. The popular approximation of 22 over 7 is close, but not accurate. Therefore, pi is an irrational number. Similarly, the square root of 2 is also an irrational number. The square root of 2 is 1.414213623. It keeps going. Therefore, that above decimal number cannot be represented by a simple fraction. Hence, the square root of 2 is an irrational number. By this Venn diagram, we can see that real numbers include irrational and rational numbers. While in rational numbers, the diagram shows us that the natural numbers are a part of subset or whole numbers. The whole numbers are part of integers. Integers are a part of subset of rational numbers. 
Here are a few questions to check your concepts regarding type of numbers. Which of the following are rational numbers? 3 over 0, 0 over 0, or minus 0 over 3? Write your answers in the comments section below.